Hey there! In this video, what I'm going to do is show you how you can actually calculate the time that a data collector spends on each question using ODK Collect. So I'm going to jump right in here. I have my XLS form opened, and if you're using Kobo Toolbox to do your data collection, um, you're going to need to use an XLS form to uh, collect these timings, these question timings. So uh, I have just a few questions here. And what I'm going to do is in my metadata um, section, which I always put right at the very top of all of my questionnaires. Um, so you can see I have my start, time, end time, today's date, and then some other metadata like device ID, phone number, username, email. I'm going to just insert another line and under the type column, I'm going to put audit and under the name, I'm going to put audit. This will actually just create an extra um, file when you fill out this data or this questionnaire, this form in ODK Collect, it will create another CSV file uh, that you'll be able to download that will actually tell you be the behavior of the data collector or the enumerator as they move through the form. So uh, I'm going to save this, upload it into Kobo Toolbox and get it into my um, ODK Collect mobile app and uh, I'll show you what that looks like next. So you can now see on my screen, I'm in my ODK Collect app and I'm going to open my blank form. So I've just named it Audit uh, Answer Timings and uh, it will just go through the questions that I've put in. And we'll save form and exit. And for example, if we then fill in a second one for a male, and we'll save the form and exit. Okay, so you want to put in the data um, through your ODK Collect. We'll go back up to the server and then I'll show you uh, how we manage that data in um, Kobo Toolbox. We can get the audit form and calculate our um, timings for our answers. Okay, so we are now in Kobo Toolbox and you can see I've opened the project for audit answer timing. So that's the same form we just entered our data in. And you'll uh, first be in your summary form or summary tab. You want to go over to your data tab and go to downloads. And you can download the XLS form. So if you export that, um, it will process the actual data that we entered and you can download that by clicking this button. Um, and then in your export type, instead of XLS, you might want to go to media attachments, okay? And we'll create a new export of a media attachment. We'll just create that. Okay, it's created that export and if we click on that file name, it will download a zip folder. So open up the answer timings audit file, which has your data in it. Okay, and you can see like this will look like any other um, data that you downloaded before from Kobo Toolbox. Um, but then we can also open this zip folder. So in the attachments or in the folder that it downloads, you'll actually see these folders that have the UUID as the name. So in your uh, data file, okay, one of the final columns that it creates is called uh, a UUID and it will give you just a random string of numbers which identifies um, the form, the unique form uh, ID that, that it has named this kind of row of data. So 8224AB, whatever. Uh, so if you go into this zip folder that you've downloaded, um, you'll see that the name of the file will actually equal that of the UUID. So you can open that up and inside that there's an audit log. Okay, so it's logged the behavior of um, the questionnaire that was filled out. Okay, and you'll simply get um, in the basic format of audit, you'll, you'll get these four columns, event, node, start and end. The start and end um, look a little bit confusing when you first see it, so don't freak out. Um, so if we go to number, okay, it will just 
show this in basically seconds. So what we want to do is create a new column, and this is what I do, to do time elapsed in seconds. And what you want to do is equal the end minus the start, and that will give you the time elapsed from when we opened up that question to when we closed that question in milliseconds, okay? And then if we put that in brackets and divide by a thousand, that will give us the elapsed seconds, uh, elapsed time in seconds. So we can drag that down for all of these questions. So you can see in the name question, it took us 6.8 seconds. In the weight question, it took us 12 seconds. In the height question, we were there 6.7 seconds. In the gender uh, question, we were there 3.57 seconds. So you can actually see the elapsed time per question for that UUID. Now to analyze this and to work uh, with this kind of data on a larger scale, um, you probably need to do some merging of CSVs, uh, which might be a topic for another video. Um, but this is just a quick way to show you how you can calculate um, the elapsed time that a data collector spent on each question. Hope that was super helpful. Um, if you would like to download the template that I used in this video, then please visit the URL that I've put in the description below the video. Give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you would like to learn a little bit more about data collection and data analysis each week uh, for humanitarian and development programs. Hope to see you soon again. Bye. Yeah.